You remember Bob. It's been a while since we've seen Bob. The last we saw him, he was buying a piece of equipment for his business and learning how to depreciate it. It's been five years since then, and now Bob wants to sell the equipment and buy a new one. Bob has offered the old equipment to another company who is willing to pay him $1,500. But Bob doesn't know what to do with the money. Should he count it as revenue on his income statement? Let's look at the gap rules and find out. We know that whenever a business sells merchandise, that is considered revenue. But merchandise are things that the business buys specifically to resell. Bob's equipment wasn't merchandise. It was a fixed asset that he used in his business. When a business like Bob's sells a fixed asset, generally accepted accounting principles allow it to subtract the book value of the asset from the sales price. So let's find Bob's book value. This is a great time to pull out the depreciation schedule that Bob created in our last episode. A depreciation schedule tracks the book value at the end of each year. For simplicity's sake, let's assume that Bob is selling the equipment at the end of year 5. According to the depreciation schedule, Bob's book value for year 5 was $1,300. So, if Bob takes his $1,500 in cash that he got from the sale and subtracts the $1,300 in book value of the equipment, that means that he made $200 cash more than the equipment was worth. That's great! Whenever you make more money on a sale than the asset is worth, we call that a gain. Gains are added to net income on the income statement. If you made less money than the asset is worth, we call that a loss. Losses are subtracted from net income on the income statement. So today Bob learned that he will have to add the cash from the sale of his equipment to his income statement, but as a gain and not as sales, and only for the amount he earned above the book value of the equipment. To learn more about depreciation and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.